order, please. Uh, we're here to discuss two ordinances. The first one is Ordinance 2017-01, Ordinance to amend the seal of college code with respect to alcoholic beverage. Jimmy, you want to comment on that? The mayor, the uh, state law has recently changed on that, and all this does is bring our code up to current state law. Right. Okay. Is there any comments from council? I have none. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. Bill. No. There being none. Anything you write in the audience? Any comments? No. There being none. Sam. Uh, ordinance number two. Ordinance twenty seventeen dash oh three to amend the ordinance twenty sixteen dash oh six specify specifically permitting street use of ATVs updating for minimal streets. Do you want to comment on that? <coughs> Mayor, we had recently done, or previously done this. Uh, the uh, law changed on in January, and this just updates our updates us and gets us current with, uh, with that. So. All right. <coughs> Council, have any comments? Joe, I have. No. Hang on. No. Oh, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The public. Mm -hmm. Okay. This public sure is called. All right. Let's go on into the council meeting. This meeting is called order, Terry. We do the honor to prior in the place, please. Please stand. <coughs> we'll go to Lord in prayer. Lord Father, we thank you for all your blessings, dear God, especially for salvation of what you do at the cross of Calvary. Do remember this meeting. I pray to bless our officials, bless our staff and the citizens. Let us all be led by the Spirit of God. We thank you, Lord Father, for unity of the Spirit. Do remember those less fortunate, those in the hospital and nursing home, those who has cancer. Touch them according to your will. And do remember our veterans and our country and our soldiers. We thank you for all your blessings, especially remember the lost that come to Christ. We give you honor, praise, and glory that you bless this meeting. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. <coughs> Stand call the roll, please. Mr. Archer? Present. Mr. Bollinger? Here. Ms. Thompson? Here. Mr. Wilson? Here. Here. Item number four. Approve the minutes from your February 2017 meeting. What's council favor? Move we approve that. I have a motion by Joe to have a second. Second. Have a second, man. I'll proceed. Mr. Archer? Yes. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Ms. Thompson? Yes. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Motion carries. Item number five, reports from your board, your committee, your department heads. What's the council's pleasure? Make a motion to approve. I have a motion by Ann. Have a second. Second. Second by Joe. Call the roll, Mr. Archer? Yes. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Ms. Thompson? Yes. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Motion carries. Item number six, any comments from the citizens? No, I have one. <coughs> On February 28th, we declared uh, Laura Johnny the day in the city of Fallout in honor of Black History Month. And uh, Miss Johnny came down here for refreshments. And she sent us a, a thank you card, and I'd like to read it. Council. It says to Mayor, Mr. Mike Stanfield and Council from Laura Johnny and family, honoring Black History and Day of Celebrations. I am very thankful and touched that you honored me on this day, February 28, 2017. It was truly the best day I've had I've experienced. I want to thank all of your staff that made this an outstanding day. May God richly bless you and in many more ways than one. We are simply the best. Thank you, Lord Jonathan and family. We appreciate that. Jim, you got a comment? I just have a couple of announcements. Uh, well, the, I need to ask the council, will the 17th work for y'all for the mock council meeting, 17th of this month? That's two Fridays. I cannot. Okay, okay. Okay, then I'll get another day from them, see what another good date is from the school. Um, and I need to, at uh, some point in time, if y'all can just call me and let me know. I need to know who is going to Nashville for sure. We have the rooms reserved. We're not. Uh, reserve the conference or not register for the conference because once you register for that, it's what was, it, what was the date of it, Jim? It's the 20th and 21st. It'll be <coughs> okay. 
Anything else? Yeah. Um, <coughs> as you all know, we've been uh, <coughs> attempting to find an excavator. I have found one in Florida. Uh, it's through the military surplus program. It is free. The uh, gentleman down there in Florida uh, told me that it had set for a couple years and had not ran. I spoke with Jim about it, and before we, uh, because it hadn't ran for a couple years, before we just put in a, a request for it, uh, the gentleman had said that uh, it would be better if we came and looked at it. So we'll see what the pleasure of the council is about allowing, I guess, Jim and his mechanic to go look at it to see if it's if that's something you all will be interested in doing. I can go ahead and put in the request for it, and then we have like 14 days to cancel it out. Where is it at? Well, it's, I just need a, it's just a, a consensus. Yeah. consensus Where from is it at? Florida. Where in Florida? Uh, around Panama City. Yeah. I've seen the, the website on it. <clears throat> And uh, like Jimmy said, the track will sit for about two years, but it's got an extra boom that comes with it, an extra bucket, and a, a jackhammer. <laughs> I say just a jackhammer costs what, Jim? About $10,000? About $18,000? Yeah. What is the price? Average for a whole next time. No, it's, it's free. Yeah, it's free. We have to pay to have a shift. And Jim had a shift an estimate of $25,700, something like that. Is that correct, Jim? Or ship an estimate of twenty five, twenty seven hundred, something like that. Uh, twenty seven fifty was on the other one from uh, England. This is in Panama City, I think. There's, there's probably not the difference in the freight, and that's for one load or be two loads of it. One will be permitted overweight, overweight, and so on. The other one will be just a regular freight. I mean. Don't be over wide and over weight. <coughs> now, Jim, we just, we could send one, we could send a new dump truck. We bought that trailer to bring that boom and jackhammer back. We could put a bucket in the bed of that truck, save some money. Maybe have two men, two men go down. We'll have to see what the boom that boom heavy. You can get it uh, shipped cheaper. I reckon. Okay. Uh, I don't believe we can scale. Well. But we need to go ahead and give Jim an authorization to go ahead and look into it because after so many days, some of us see you get it. I'm good with it, Jim. And if y'all just want, I just need a direction to go. If y'all want me to to ask for it, and then if they give it to us, let Jim go down there and look at it, then we can cancel it. We don't have to. We have 14 days to <coughs> pick it up or cancel it. One of the two. We, 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 I don't think we'll need a motion on it if y'all just give me a direction to go in. I say go for it. Because we didn't discuss it and I just found it today, or, well, I guess yesterday evening. So it was something that I just found. I'm good for it. Yeah. Good. 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 Okay, under administration, uh, approved the Lions Club call or May the 1st through May the 6th. Is Sue here? She's not here. She was here at the workshop, so it's the same thing that uh, happened for her. Right? They have insurance and stuff now? Yeah. Okay, what, what's the council's favor? Make a motion to approve it. I have a motion to approve it. I have a second. Yes. Second, Bill Potter. Mr. Archer? Yes. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Ms. Thompson? Yes. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Yeah. Motion carries. Item number two, approval of the 2016 audit report from Pew and Company. Terry, you want to talk mm -hmm. about the audit a little bit? Since it was late getting the book out, are you uh, good with it? Yeah, but the, the, the audit's fine, and we just had that one finding about the, uh, I think they went over about the rec center. Okay. And other than that, uh, I think fund balance only went down maybe $18,000. Uh, so it, it was fine. It okay. Was fine. On that one thought, the rec center, we're in the process of correcting it, right? I think, uh, yeah, I've got a, yeah, talk to Reed about it. Oh, I did it more than gave him a block. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Reed. All right. Uh, can't call it wrong. I have a motion to approve it. So moved. Have a motion to have a second? Second. 
Check the hot one. Call roll, Sam. Mr. Archer? Yes. Mr. Bumbler? Yes. Ms. Thompson? Yes. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Motion carries. Item number three. Approval to proceed with the RV park. What's council's pleasure? I have a comment that I feel like needs to be said about the... We have not fully discussed the cost of this RV park. I know um, Mr. Wilson had said that it was going to run around $7,000. I am not for taking additional money out of fund balance to support this. We have already taken out in the past seven months two hundred seventy-nine thousand dollars out of fund balance. So the cost factor in it, you know, payroll and materials. I mean, if we do it in house, we've not explored that avenue. We need to know if it's going to be worth it as far as how much income it's going to bring in compared to what it's going to cost to build it. And I feel like we need to look at it further before we make a decision on it. We're not tapping into the fund balance. If you recollect in the last in the workshop, I told asked told you where the money was. This is new money coming in that's not been out. But it's, it's got to go into the general fund. This is sales fund. tax, fund. and it yeah. has to go into the general fund. Right. So which is which is fund balance. So it actually go has to go into fund balance right. according to Terry. It has to be put into there and distributed to all departments. <coughs> So that's actually taking it back out of fund balance. I'll make a motion to go ahead and park. I have a motion by Hot Rod to have a second. Second, Joe. Second. second by Bill. I'm going to call the roll. Mr. Archer? Yes. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Ms. Thompson? No. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Motion carries. Okay, item number four approve the sidewalk cut not to exceed 12 feet on North Tennessee Avenue and the corner of the alleyway besides. The Royal Lunchroom. We discussed this in the workshop, and Mr. Lynch and his dad's here. Uh, he just put a lot of money into Old World Pool, trying kind to of renovate it and get it up running. And uh, I met with uh, Mr. Lindsay, and so did uh, Daniel about the sidewalk. And he is willing, if we go in there and cut all the sidewalk out with Jackhammer, Mr. Lindsay is willing to pay for the concrete to have his entrance put in 12 foot wide. And uh, We'll come in, once we get this creek bank cleared off all this brush, we'll come in and complete the sidewalk and put the steel around the far slope. That's what we agreed on, right, Tony? Is 12 foot wide enough? Yeah, 12. well, we talked about 12 or 14. I, I would, if possible, prefer the 14 feet rather than 12. 14 feet? Kind of tight, yeah. Okay, two more feet. Okay, was that, now, we just want to leave part of that sidewalk up our next year building, what, about three foot, when it hot rod? Yes. Well, or we just take the whole thing out and give it 14 feet? That would, that would do it. That would be thereafter, next to the height. Okay, I'm good. They have a motion before I think, I think I still, Any motion needs to include that any work done will be ADA compliant. We need to be sure that in, whatever we do on the sidewalk and, the, and all of that is, a, is ADA compliant. Okay. American Disabilities Act. Yeah, that it's just, it just complies with the American Disabilities Act, and you know, mm -hmm. I, we just need to make sure that uh, uh, you know we're in the process of uh, uh, getting the getting the transition plan together. So anything we do from here on out, we have to be sure is ADA. Everything, but everything has to be ADA com compliance by 2019. Everything. We got a lot of work to do here. That's true. Yeah. A lot of work. Tony, we good. You look at the mayor. Yes, sir. I, I think on uh, putting the steel around that fire hydrant, I think that's something that probably the utility will be done. Okay. They put steel in it, but with the concrete. If you buy the steel. <laughs> we'll, we'll buy the steel. We'll buy the steel, Mr. Lager. What's council's pleasure? <coughs> we'll approve the mayor. I have a motion by Joe to have a second. 14 foot, correct? 14 foot, yes. Uh, and you said motion second by Ann. Call the roll, please. Mr. Archer? Yes. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Ms. Thompson? Yes. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Motion carries. Jim, if you can, try to get that out of our that concrete bus step so he can go ahead and get the entrance completed. Okay? Okay. Okay, uh, number five, uh, discuss the bid process. That is something that I have been on there, Mayor. Hmm? Um, I would like to pass out a copy of the city's ordinance. Uh, I understand the city has an ordinance for competitive bidding and it's required on all services to bid over four thousand dollars. 
I informed our city administrator of this, and he said he did not know that we needed one. Um, he said he would check with Terry and Melissa Ashburn. Um, I also spoke with Melissa Ashburn and Reed, and both of them stated that we needed a, a bid. Um, Melissa Ashburn informed me today that she advised our city administrator to get around this policy, that he could check with the city's insurance and personnel policy and hire these individuals part-time. Yes. I don't have a problem with who has been hired. I have a problem with the way it was done because we're getting around doing what the city ordinance claims that we're supposed to do. Um, Reconfiguring process for competitive bidding is not something I feel like the city needs to get into doing when we already have an ordinance in place for this. Well, you know, when this thing got started, we was all just getting our feet wet with it. I mean, Mr. Hoskins, he donated his track hole if we furnished the fuel and paid his operators to do it. I mean, if I had it over two, three hundred thousand dollar piece of equipment, I wouldn't put it in that creek bank, taking a chance to turn my piece of equipment up. It broke down, I was responsible for it. The reason Mr. Hoskins done this was because I, I, I would say was, I had a lot to do with our friendship and his love for this city. He's always been there to help this city. You know, with his time I don't have a problem work. with Mr. Hoskins doing the work. My problem was the fact that the city administrator wasn't aware that we have a competitive bid ordinance and that he didn't follow procedure. Well, he does now. Mayor, that is that is my fault. Uh, I realize that on goods we buy that it's a competitive bid under special circumstances. I wasn't, uh, you know, in the fact that everything is donated except the waiver. I wasn't aware that. Uh, that met the competitive bid process when I spoke to Miss Ashburn. Uh, we immediately stopped all the work Correct. until, uh, and then I spoke with her again, and she said that she advised me that we could uh, hire the operator part time, and uh, she advised me to contact Judy Housley from NC Municipal League, which I did, and put everything back into compliance before. Um, starting and it's my fault I didn't know it um, and you know I don't want it to reflect on Mr. Hoskins in any way he's trying to do the city a favor you know I don't think anybody else would donate us a machine and then the only thing we have to pay is our operator and it's my fault my mistake and I apologize I didn't know it but I know it now that's true alright I'm good with that it is an unusual situation we don't have many situations where well, we <clears throat> donate something for us I didn't know the answer when it first came in I well, so. well, I know Mr. Hoskins for a long time, and like I say, the only reason he's doing it is because of our friendship and his love for this city. I, only person do it besides him have to be a crazy person, and I'm sure he's not crazy. I wouldn't do it. That's not yet. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I love to see. I wouldn't put a two, over $200,000 piece of equipment in there and damage it, doing somebody a favor without being compensated. But Mark, we really appreciate everything you do. Anytime. All right. This project is putting the sides off the creek bank and making flow water go through and the helps with mosquito control and everything else was undertaken and none of us, I mean, and if you knew it, you should have spoke up earlier than what you did. You waited till we got the bill in and then looked at it, and, oh, it's $5,000. No, I didn't wait, no, I didn't find out how much it was until I was basing well, it on the fact that we had said that we would spend $25,000 on it. None of us knew. I don't read the ordinances and go to the charter and all the ordinances like <coughs> maybe I should. But uh, it's been a really good undertaking project and well needed. Oh, I agree. And I'm glad that we're doing it because I'm excited to have it done. We have wanted this done for years and have been told that we couldn't do it. That's correct. I tried it when I was here for it. So, it took a lot of effort from Jimmy and everybody else to get all of the down the line in, a, in agreement to let us do it from the TVA all the way down. So, yeah, and the merchants are pleased with this. So, yeah, the merchants is happy I'm tickled with it. So, is there any more discussion on it? All right, let's move on. Okay, discussion to committee and council members. That was okay. that was also my. Um, I would like to clear the air. After all the insults and confusion voiced toward me by a select few, I have no desire to serve on the ATV Festival Committee in any capacity. 
I find it very sad that Mr. Jeffries knows for a fact that I was the one person who helped him get this started while he was still police chief, and he will not admit it. I was accused of not turning over the paperwork to the committees. I have three text messages from Mr. Jeffries stating that he would come by and pick up the paperwork. He did not. Furthermore, every check, form, application that I picked up and received was direct, taken directly to Donna. She made copies of everything for her records. I kept copies for my records, and Terry kept all the financial finance records. With the exception of a few that I had received, <coughs> nothing was said about any of that. Um, prior to the February workshop, Mr. Jeffries had said that he would be happy to have me back on the ATV committee, and then a few days later, he called me and told me that he preferred counsel to vote on it. <coughs> um, during the workshop, Mayor Stanfield stated once, and Mr. Jeffries stated twice, that any council member can serve on any committee. During the workshop discussion, Mr. Jeffries stated he has no problem with me being on any committee. And during this discussion, Mr. Jeffries then agreed with Mr. Wilson's statement to let the vegetable committee decide. And I have been under the, impre under the impression that any council member can be on any committee That's within right. the city. So apparently, I don't know, and neither does the city administrator. We need to make a decision. Can council members serve on this committee? Does the city administrator decide who does it? Does the council decide? And does the committee vote for its own members or who initially establishes the committee? If, if you're elected by the people to represent the taxpayers, you have a right to be on any committee the city so chooses. If you, if you want to be on it, you know. I have no desire to be on it. I just want to admit it to be made clear that that I have a right to be on any council, any committee within this city. If you want to be, yes. Okay. Any more comments? No more comments. All right, let's move on. Number seven, discussion accuses made by Vice Mayor Bullock and Mrs. Thompson. And I guess that was you? Yes, it is. Um, <laughs> First, I need to say that Mr. Jeffrey well knows I had no intentions of taking over the ATV Festival. Mr. Jeffries and I spoke several times of my desire to take over the vendors and the sponsors as I had done in the, in the past during the first and second part of the festival. This conversation was between Mr. Jeffries and me, and I do not know where Mr. Bollinger got his information. During the February 2017 City Council workshop, I discussed was discussion was underway as per the agenda regarding the ATV Festival Committee and myself and Council Member Joe Member began attacking my integrity. He stated that I got on a classified computer, I printed off a personnel letter, that I distributed the letter, and that I threatened people. <coughs> I am shocked that Mr. Bollinger would publicly slander my name with these accusations as a result of this purposely and maliciously bringing up a subject irrelevant to the discussion at hand. This slander has been further publicized on the internet, radio, and newspaper, causing me unwarranted stress and embarrassment. I am further amazed that Mr. Bollinger would bring up a, a nine-month-old past subject that was directly pertains to a relative of his and the city administrator's failure to act upon that information that was included within that letter. Read, Mr. Bollinger said you assigned Mr. Jeffries to investigate the letter. Did you do that? Did I assign Mr. Jeffries to investigate the letter? Yes. Absolutely. Were you given the results of that letter? The results of his investigation? Yes. I believe he did provide the verbal input that he found. But why would he be taxed with... He's the city administrator. It's his job to do that, and But it was also, it was addressed to him and his failure to to act upon that letter. Any, any employee dispute is his responsibility to look into, and especially if there's an allegation of of uh, enterprise <coughs> between employees, that's absolutely his job. So yes, absolutely, I did tell him to investigate it because it's supposed to. Well, according to him, he didn't do a written report, but I'm here to publicly say that I did not access the public computer. I did not distribute a letter. Who, who carried the letter to Mr. Jeffers? No, no one, to my knowledge. Right. I didn't give it to him. Did you or did you not go to Mr. Jeffers' office and tell him he didn't stop the investigation and causing problems? I didn't tell him to stop the investigation. Can you answer those questions, Sam? This time. Wait. The only question you can ask is why that Mr. Bollinger was the only council member at the time that knew anything about it. According to Hansford and according to Bob, no one else knew that he was doing an investigation on it. 
All right, let me, let me stop this right now before we get to you, Bud Rattler. Okay, Joe? No, Listen. let me, let me comment on it, please. She come out and said that I accused her. I didn't accuse her, and I didn't know about the letter at the time. I knew about the letter later after I started. You asked me about serving on the ATV Festival Committee after our last meeting. I went around and talked to people. That's when I found out all this stuff. It don't matter what is in the letter. You told in that workshop, you first said that you got it off the printer. A few minutes later, you said that two of the employees gave it to you. Now, which is it? It doesn't matter how I got it. I'm just telling you that I did not take it off the computer. I did not print it. Right. I did not access the computer. Why did you tell him that? I'm not discussing it any further. Okay. I just need to make it clear. Joe, I'm, I'm, on this, I'm on the end it right now. Mr. Wilson and Mr. Archer don't know anything about it later, and I really don't give a lot of crap about it either. So as far as I'm concerned right now, it's up there is dead. We're here more bad. We're going to move on. All right. Under Fire Department, promoted Johnny Seals as a full-time lieutenant, currently a full-time foreman at a salary of $33,519.64, effective date, March 18, 2017. Mr. Seals is in the audience, and Johnny's had the pleasure of working for the Fire Department for about 28 years, and uh, he goes back a long way, and I would recommend that Mr. Seals be promoted. I make a motion to promote Johnny Seals. I have a motion for Ms. Thompson to have a second. Second. A second, Mr. Wilson, call the roll, please. Mr. Archer? Yes. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Ms. Thompson? Yes. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Promotion carries. Congratulations, John. Under the police department, uh, Jessica Sheher. Oh, there's her. Oh, there's her. Okay. Uh, promoting Jessica Dory as a full time dispatcher and a salary of $23,088. Effective date, March 18, 2017. Uh, what's council pleasure? Move approval. Motion by Joe. I have a second. Yes. Second by Bill. Call the roll. Mr. Archer. Yes. Mr. Bollinger. Yes. Ms. Thompson. Yes. Mr. Wilson. Yes. Motion carries. Item number two. Promotion: Caitlin Wilson, the full-time dispatcher, at a salary of twenty-two thousand and forty-eight dollars. Effective date: March eighteenth, twenty seventeen. What's the council pleasure? Have a motion, Mr. Wilson. Have a second, Mr. Archer. Call the roll. Mr. Archer. Yes. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Ms. Thompson? Yes. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Motion carries. Congratulations, Kate. Jessica, congratulations, honey. Okay, uh, item number three, we've got the bids for the K-9 bid, and we've only got one of them. And, Bill, you want to talk about it a little bit? Yes, sir. Uh, we actually received one bid that uh, went out uh, through the process. Bob Lick, uh, Kimmel, was out of uh, Indiana, was the uh, prevailing bid. Uh, uh, they came in with a total amount of $12,000 for the cost. That includes uh, a dual purpose dog. Uh, a, uh, also, it includes uh, uh, the uh, five week training class for our officer. It includes housing for, for the officer during that particular time as well. They came in and gave uh, uh, discounts of up to $4,375, making it a total of $12,000. And uh, with that said, the only the only thing that wasn't uh, uh, that did not come out of the bid is for the monies for travel and, and meals, and we have that in our budget uh, uh, to cover that for his meals and travel. Bill, I didn't read this whole doc from here, but did read a lot of it. Yes. That buying that dog is like buying a new car; it's guaranteed for a year. You yes, know, sir, it, is, it is guaranteed <laughs> for a year, and they stand by stand behind it. A lot of the agencies that I know have uh, utilized this particular campus and they've been uh, very pleased with them. I spoke to the chief at Knoxville, he said they've used them in the past and they've had success. Yeah, and if something goes wrong with that dog and we're not satisfied, then we send it back. Yes, you know, and uh, like I said, this guy, he's a, a retired service man, he's disabled out of the Air Force, right? Right. Right. So what's the council's pleasure on the K-9 unit? Move approved. I have a question. And the, I understand that the housing is included in this bid is for 25 days, I assume. So well, they, it's a five week course. course. He goes, he stays, uh, he stays Monday through Friday, he comes back on weekends. So it's 
So he will be coming home on the yes. weekends. Okay. Thank I, you. I have a motion. It is out of drugs, but I'm not remembering. Right. Yes, we have a motion by Joe. Do you have a second? A second. Have a second. May I call the roll, please? Mr. Archer? Yes. Mr. Bolger? Yes. Ms. Thompson? Yes. Mr. Wilson? Yes. The motion carries. Okay, under public works, approval to declare the old brush truck surplus. Uh, we've got a new truck in it coming in last week, and uh, the city of Jacksboro is interested in, in buying our old truck. and. Uh, I'd like the uh, council to give uh, Mr. Mullins and uh, Mr. Jeffers uh, authorization to uh, sell the truck to Jasper and get a final price out of it. I'd like a motion there that we surplus it and give them the option to do that. Okay, I have a motion. Of Declare surplus and give them the option of purchase. Yeah. Yes. You said you will? Second by Bill Harrow. Mr. Archer? Yes. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Ms. Thompson? Yes. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Motion carries. Okay. Uh, next item is approval for bid for the mowing farm, farm arm for the tractor. And there was only one bid, and it was uh, $11,500, I believe. Is that correct on that? It is. Yeah, it was $11,500. Do you want to explain it a little bit? That makes that mower a lot more versatile before he can only reach a certain distance beside the street. This is an arm boom on it where he can reach up on the banks a lot better. Even trim small limbs as big as my thumb probably off the right of way that's growing out. It just makes it. There's two tractors. The one that's still in the job it did before. Right. But it just makes it a lot more versatile. And the tractor, Jim, is still in good shape, right? Yes. Okay, well, how hell was that tractor? I remember. Four or five or something? Four or five. I don't remember okay. something like that. Yeah, well, you know, Mr. Orr took good care of it, right. and Frank, yes. Frank's taking good care of it, so. Frank is taking good care of it, too. Yeah. Okay, and this, they're going to pick the tractor up and put it out and bring it back. Pick it up, fix it, and bring it back. Okay, what's the council's favor? Make a motion to approve. I have a motion in my hand to have a second. Second by Bill, call Rose down. Mr. Archer? Yes. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Ms. Thompson? Yes. Mr. Wilson? Yes. yes. Motion carries. Okay. <coughs> Under ordinance and resolution, I number one, resolution 2017-02, resolution for engineering service for a safe route to school problem. Jim, you want to comment on a little bit? Mayor, I think we had two uh, two people sent in resolution mm -hmm. modifications. Mm -hmm. I recommend Canada. Mm -hmm. Sidewalk yeah, and this is probably going to be the last sidewalk running again because they're doing away with it. Is that the uh, resolution or ordinance? Yes, that was a misprint, Joe. Okay. He was recommending Canyon Canyon. Canyon Canyon. What's council's pleasure? Move to approve. That motion by Joe, you have a second. Second, Mr. Wilson, call the rope stand. Mr. Archer? Yes. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Ms. Thompson? Yes. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Motion <coughs> carries. Item number two, resolutions 2017 03, resolutions for a new loan from Tennessee Municipal Bond Fund not to exceed $1.5 million. Curry, you want to comment? Uh, that, that resolution was sent uh, from the Bond Fund, and uh, once you approve that tonight, we're going to send two originals back. And they will proceed with trying to uh, get the money for us. Uh, okay, and Terry, this is for a 10 year loan, right? It's, uh, yeah, it's 1.5 million for 10 years. Not to exceed 3% per year, is that right? Uh, well, it, I think the rate's about 2.81. 2.81. Yeah, if they locked it in. And uh, once they get this resolution, they can proceed. Okay. What's the council's pleasure? Move to Have a motion, Mr. Bullard. Have a second. Mm -hmm. I'll second. Second by Ann Colorado Mr. Archer? Yes. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Ms. Thompson? Yes. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Motion carries. Resolution 2017 04, amendments to original budget 2016 2017. You have a copy of it? I got it. Here I got it. Thousand dollars for them. You want to discuss it? Uh, that was where uh, Mr. Mullins had, had to put a motor back in the truck. Mm -hmm. and I think we did it in house. We did. And that was, and we were able to get it for that price. Uh, and 
but it did deplete one of his uh, Put a switch line item that deplete for you, Jim? Your repair and maintenance. Your repair and maintenance or your parts line item, which did that deplete? Oh. It's, 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 mo it's motor vehicle parts out of fleet maintenance. State maintenance. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. And the, uh, the 7500 for the RV park that y'all just voted on. Um, and the way Terry explained that to me is that's the money, we have 7500 coming in, it's not allocated, but it does go into fund balance, and then that has to come back out of fund balance. Okay. So, okay, what's council's favor? I have a motion. I have a motion. Mr. Wilson, have a second? Yes. Second, Mr. Archer, call the road stand. Mr. Archer? Yes. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Ms. Thompson? I disagree with taking the money out of fund balance mm. for the recreation park, so. Okay. Motion carries. Okay, item number four. Resolution 2017-05. Mr. Wilson? Yes. My new is coming, so. <laughs> and you've been very often said yes, Ann. Mayor, for, uh, for these next two, uh, y'all will have to suspend the rules. What happened, uh, <coughs> the Vena from TDOC came up and met with Barbara uh, since the last workshop. And you've all, we've already approved engineering services on September the 6th, but because it is a TEAT because of the grant process, they do require that resolutions be done on these. Uh, we use community development partners for our uh, administrative services on basically everything, but they, they do require that this, and she asked Barbara if it could wait another month and put it on a workshop agenda, but uh, TDOT asked us to go ahead and get this done. Okay. So, is that, is that right, Barbara? Yes. So, Motion I have a motion. I do have a second. 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 Mr. Archer? Yes. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Ms. Thompson? Yes. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Motion carries. I number five. Resolutions 2017 06. Resolution Engineering Services for the Downtown Revitalization Project. Jim? Mayor, you've already voted for, you've already voted on that for GRW. We just need a resolution to, to okay. for that. Uh -huh. Yeah, you just need to vote on the two, the two resolutions, number four and number five, okay. under the rules being suspended, and then it can go back into the regular. <coughs> regular five and six. Okay, Joe. Yeah, vote to approve both of those. Okay. Yeah, four and five. Okay, have a motion, Joe. We have a second. And okay, call the right. Yeah. Yeah. Motion carries. Item number six. Mr. Archer? Yes. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Ms. Thompson? Yes. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Motion carries. Now let's go on being here to the beer resolution. Everybody needs a beer after some meeting, all right? Okay, number six. Ordinance 2017-01 for the see of the Code with respect to alcoholic beverage. And this is the third and final reading. This is where the state passed it where it go from 3% to 5%, right here? 10%. 10%. Beers, yes. We're riding we drinking. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. What's pleasure? Make a motion. Have a motion, Mr. Wilson. Have a second. Second. Second, Mr. Archer. Call the roll. Mr. Archer. Yes. Mr. Bollinger. Yes. Ms. Thompson. Yes. Mr. Wilson. Yes. Motion carries. Ordinance 2017 03. Orders to amend the Ordinance 2016 06. This is fine for many street use for ATVs, updating the permitted streets. This is the third and final reading. What's Council's pleasure? Approval. Have a motion for Joe to have a second. Second. Second, Mr. Archer, call the roll. Mr. Archer? Yes. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Ms. Thompson? Yes. Mr. Wilson? Yes. What's your curious? Hey, Jimmy, before we go to number eight, explain to the public here about what streets it's going to be used on. So. The uh, <coughs> North Tennessee Avenue uh, from the bridge to the red light, South Tennessee Avenue to uh, Claiborne Road, Claiborne Road to the city limits and Beach Street to the uh, new library and then Beach Street to 4th Street up to Chestnut. All right. Okay. Item number eight, Ordinance 2017-04, Ordinance to adopt public records policy for the pseudo office. The first reading. That's kind of pleasure. Thank you, motion. I have a motion. Have a second. Second. 
Say it was your call roll, Sam. Mr. Archer? Yes. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Ms. Thompson? Yes. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Motion carries. that in the workshop but uh, somehow we've not got a uh, resolution for it would it be okay to do the yeah, I don't, yeah I don't I don't think it's on a it's just a T it's a T dot but I don't think we have to uh, I don't think we have to do it tonight I don't believe okay we're going into the design phase yeah and that was the uh, that was the books I gave them during the last workshop and just as long as we're not on a deadline then we're think. We're not on the deadline. Okay, we can do it next month. Okay, do okay, I have a motion to adjourn this meeting? So moved. All right, this meeting's adjourned. Mr. Archer? Yes. Mayor Stanfield? Here. Ms. Thompson? Here. Mr. Wilson? Here. Chairman Bolton? Here. Could have been no permits. I have a motion to adjourn. Motion to page out here.